Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. We're just going to do a random mood reading so without any delay let's just get into the video all right guys we have the 0.5 uh, angle i don't know how it's recording but please bear with me the first book we are going to finish will be five survive i'm already through 140 pages and it's a fast-paced book and i love holly jackson's writing style like i find it so easy and so gripping i just get into it i don't have to use too much of my brain and i enjoy reading uh, yeah, let's just get started. I am 50, I guess more than 50% through this book on page number 198. Oh my god. There's this one character. I won't be spoiling this book for you, so you don't need to worry. I'll be talking about it in secret words. So you understand what I'm saying, but you also don't get any spoilers. The blurb, if you'll read, you'll know that this book is about six kids stuck in an RV and there's a sniper aiming to shoot at them. These kids basically are trying to survive. But there's this one kid, he's so arrogant, he's so rude. He's so full of himself, he doesn't care about anybody else other than him and his sister who is in this RV as well. And he's a narcissist really. I didn't have big issue with him until now because he was just like doing his narcissist shit and I didn't care much. But something bad happened with two people who didn't deserve it, okay? They were just out of this whole story if this guy, this narcissist guy didn't do this one thing that the sniper told him not to. I just wanted to tell you guys that I just wanted to rant. Now I'm gonna see because I know the other characters are gonna lash out at him as well. So I'm just gonna read a bit more. And um, this book is divided in parts using the timestamps like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., recording each hour of their existence in this RV. So that's exciting. And right now I am going to read until the next hour, that is 3 a.m. mark. And then I'll stop reading and we'll continue this book either tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, let's read a bit more. Hi guys, uh, the page I left this book on had so much potential for the secrets to be revealed so I just went with it and guess what? I'm on page number 354 and it's just a 390 pages book. I have just 36 pages more to go and my mom called us for dinner so I'll have to go. Uh, still a lot of secrets are left to be revealed although I know 90% of the plot at this point but the 10% is also important and it's going to be big. I know that because the last line of this book was epic it was an epic reveal apparently i can read 250 pages in a day if it's written by holly jackson <laughs> any which ways now i'll go have my dinner yeah hi guys i just finished Uh, the ending made it seem as if there is a possibility of another part of this book coming. Maybe sometime soon, maybe sometime later. I can't wait for if it, that's the case. It was a standalone so I couldn't connect to the characters that deeply and I would want to. Because there are a few characters that I loved. Uh, a short and quick review. It was a bit slow during the first 100 pages except the few chapters where there was a little bit of action packed the next 200 pages they were like 
kind of predictable you knew what's coming you knew people are doing stupid shit and what that's going to cause them it was as if she was waiting for these last 100 pages to give us you know this roller coaster ride one after another secret one after another action one after another heartbreaking scene yeah like the way i'm speaking right now that's how i felt when i was reading it it was clearly a 4.5 holly jackson clearly knew what she's doing with this book and i think i can't wait to get more books by her i'm going to talk about the other book that i'm going to start i've been wanting to get into cassandra clare's shadow hunters universe since a long time the sequence of her series is not really clear you guys you can read it in any order because there are so many books i decided to read it in the chronological order the infernal devices is the earliest and this is the book one of the infernal devices it's clockwork angel i had read it 208 pages on my ipad only then i ordered it even this one is pretty fast paced pretty interesting i know the world i know the magic system i know the characters i am a bit attached to the characters as well i'll have to say that so i'm super excited to read this now we'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys it's day 2 and we are here with our book two of this video i haven't gotten time to read since this morning and it's 3:15 and we have until 4 pm to read let me tell you a bit of the premise of this book so basically there are these uh, humans like us then there are these shadow hunters they're half angels half humans and they protect these humans from her tribe in this book which is of demons or basically magical creatures Usually magical creatures don't hurt humans or even these shadow hunters they have a pact but sometimes some magical creatures are evil so it's shadow hunters job to protect humans from these evil creatures and now in this book we follow this girl called Tessa who thinks herself a human but she is not she has some superpowers and no one knows which category of the magical creature she belongs to but she can basically transform herself into anyone if she holds the object that belongs to that person actually her brother is kidnapped and now they're trying to figure out who is behind all of this right now we are closely following these three characters tessa gem and will gem and will both are shadow hunters will is the arrogant one okay, he's not evil but he's just an arrogant teenager you know and gem he's the sweet guy the nerd one there's also a love triangle but in this chapter they are trying to make tessa learn to behave like this vampire she's trying to transform into this book is so funny whatever line will has in this book is automatically for, funny for some reasons like tessa is trying to walk like this vampire so he's like camille walks delicately like a fawn in the woods not like a duck then tessa is like i do not walk like a duck <laughs> and jem is so sweet he's trying to fix what will just did he's like i like ducks especially the one in hyde park Like <laughs> what are the three do, especially in a dangerous situation? So I'm super excited to read more of it, and yeah, I'll update more as I read more pages. Hi guys, that's my sister. And We're going out. This kurti is stolen by her. We have made such a good trade together. Look, she bought me this kurti. I enjoy it. I like this kurti. Through background. मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर रहे हैं मामा का मेरे का मामा का इसकी वीडियोस देखना ठीक है हाय बोलो बच्चों अच्छी नहीं लगी तो लाइक भी कर देना ये भी दिव्या है दिव्या हाय तो बोलो हाय
अगर अच्छी नहीं लगी तो डिसलाइक कर देना नहीं <laughs> अब ये बच्चे <laughs> मजाक कर रही लाइक कर देना ठीक है मैंने सुबह से क्या खाया था आलू के पराठे खाए थे उसके बाद मैंने क्या खाया था उसके बाद मैंने खाया था थोड़ी सी राइस बहुत कम ग्रीन वेजिटेबल बोल राइस के बोल रहे ग्रीन वेजिटेबल बोल के साथ तो ये घर घर का 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 भी खाती है के। It's a really thick book. I'll have to tell you. Yesterday I read around a hundred or something pages, and today by far I've read fifty more, and I have hundred more pages to go. So I will probably finish this book by tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna happen today because it's a fantasy book. It's not like Five Survive. Every description, every dialogue is really important in fantasy books, and this is the first book to a really huge. world of shadow hunters so i need to focus so far i've been having fun it's a fun book but i'll have to say because this is the first one i guess this is more towards the world building so it's kind of <laughs> like i'm struggling all right uh, but now that i've hit the page number 386 and i just have 100 more pages to go the pace has definitely improved i think the last 100 pages are all going to be action packed war between the down worlders and the shadow hunters it's going to be fun so i'm excited for these 100 pages but i've stopped for now and i'll continue reading tomorrow probably and then we'll end this vlog with a review of this book so stay tuned with me you guys Hi guys you were watching me read this 
just a few seconds ago and now i'm finally done with this book as i already told you guys that the first 100 pages were mostly world building they were a little thrilling with a mystery aspect of course but then the middle 200 pages were too much world building like all i could see were the interactions which were funny at times when there was whole hair and tail in it i love that character oh my god his presence made this book worth it for me it's 500 pages and i was interested in this book for only around 300 pages so 200 pages i was pretty much bored and struggling and i pushed my way through i'm glad that i did so getting into shadow hunters world which is a really epic fantasy world is amazing so i'm pretty excited to read more i'm gonna continue reading the two other books in separate vlog and this book i would rate 3.75 stars okay hear me out i loved it any book that i would rate above 3.5 stars is something that you are definitely supposed to be reading on my recommendation the three books in infernal devices series together will be above four stars i'm pretty pretty convinced about that but yeah that's the rating i'd like to give it i'd like to end this vlog here and if you like this video please like share subscribe and tell me in the comment section any books you'd like me to make a reading vlog or any other video you guys would want me to make just let me know in the comment section i'll be very glad to do that but for now i'll bid you farewell and we'll see you super soon in my next vlog